Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. We are overlooking the Intracoastal Waterway in Fort Pierce, Florida, where we will be watching the Fort Pierce Utilities Authority replace a wooden distribution pole with a new concrete distribution pole. Our participating utility is FPUA, the Fort Pierce Utilities Authority, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now we start by watching our crew at their on-site job safety briefing and they will all sign for their participation in that briefing. And then we have to start of course by digging the hole for the new concrete pole to be installed. This specialized shovel here the crew calls slapsticks. Helps get out a lot of that dirt a little deeper in. And you can see here the concrete pole on a flatbed truck that will be installed as one of the crew goes up in a bucket to prepare the lines up above for the transfer from the existing wooden distribution pole to the new concrete pole. And meanwhile on the ground they're preparing some of the framing for the new pole. And now we switch to a view from the GoPro camera on the crew member in the bucket as he's installing these guts or line sleeves to protect uh, both the workers and the new pole from coming into contact with the lines. And we'll also install a hood here over the insulator to protect again against contact with that. And now let's go down to the lower of the two cross arms on this wooden distribution pole and we're going to disconnect the fuses or switches that lead to a capacitor bank which we're going to see here in a moment. That cross arm will be removed. Of course, it's fuses and switches also. And that capacitor bank will be moved up to the new concrete distribution pole once that is set in place. So just starting to prepare for moving the lines over after the new pole is up. And now we can move back over to the other side of the cross arm as we watch him remove these existing fuses or switches from the wooden cross arm, the wooden pole. And as we're watching this, you can see some of the decay of the wood, both on the cross arm and in a moment on the distribution pole itself as we pull the cross arm away. Now this work is being done about a week or two before Hurricane Irma slammed into Florida, and it is part of a concrete pole replacement program for deteriorating wood poles such as this. FPUA does uh, regular inspections of their wood pole inventory and again the concrete poles are certainly able to withstand some of the Florida weather conditions better than the wooden distribution poles. But now let's move back to ground as we watch the digger of a digger derrick come out here and we're going to use this corkscrew motion of the digger to pull out a bunch of dirt here. Remember this hole was originally manually dug with shovels and now we're going to get down much deeper and much wider for the incoming concrete pole. And now you see the digger coming up with a fresh load of soil. They're going to use some ingenuity here and some shovels to get rid of that uh, soil by spinning the digger as they do it and then once they got it cleaned off give it a nice little shake get rid of the rest of the dirt and you see our crew member come in here giving the thumbs up not only for a good job but he wants to raise the digger to bring her back down into the hole and once they've done that a couple more times you now see that digger tucked into the boom here and we're using this digger derrick to move the pole from the flatbed onto the ground so they can raise it and put it in its place. Notice also the orange protective wrap on the top of the pole here. That's similar to those line guts we saw them put up earlier. That is to protect against uh, contact with the wires or any other equipment as the pole is being set. And now you see them raising that pole to vertical while the crew watches closely to make sure they don't come into contact with any of the lines or equipment above. Now let's move into the base of the pole where you see a couple of crew members guiding that new pole into the hole. And uh, we can get even up closer with a GoPro camera. 
and you will soon see some tape marks on this pole as they lower it into the hole. That tells them how far down to go in order to achieve the proper height above ground. And they also, you're gonna hear them say in a minute here, they also have to make sure the cant is right, meaning the direction of the pole is correct regarding the openings at the top for cross arms and fuses. Make sure the cant's right. The X is facing the road, right, Tilly? Yep. And so as we watch this same process from a bit further back, you have now seen our TND How video on a concrete distribution pole installation. Once again, our participating utility was the Fort Pierce Utilities Authority. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.